But who's the most influential person in your professional career? The most influential person? I, I, I can't answer that. I mean, there was a lot of people I've benefited from. Uh, one of your frequent guests, uh, I guess more in Squawk Box, that I have a, a, he's an icon and he's everything I want to be, is Ken Langone. Uh, I learned a lot from Henry Singleton, uh, the founder of Teledyne. I learned a lot from John Whitehead and John Weinberg, uh, Bob Mnuchin, who was head of trading at Goldman Sachs. A lot of people have touched my life in, a, uh, in very important ways. I, I just can't identify any one individual. Sure. I guess I have the most to my parents who gave me an education. Oh, I know you've talked about uh, on that on numerous occasions, a, a kid from the Bronx who uh, uh, certainly became a self-made uh, billionaire has helped so many people throughout your generosity and your philanthropy as well. Joe Terranova has a question for you, Lee. Uh, Lee, the storied career that you have had, and, and for someone like myself who, who looks upon you, uh, you're not going anywhere, but please share with all of us, you began by talking about how difficult it is and how important fo focus is in successful investing. The, the criteria that has made you successful, one of the one or two thi things that really, really you focused on that helped you be so successful as it relates to just investing? I've maintained a value orientation and I stick within my uh, sphere of competency. I've always said, you know, uh, uh, my, first stop, my first analysis is, and this is where Steve Einhorn and I work closely together, you know, is to figure out the direction of the market, you know, because, uh, you know, at times the market's overvalued and times undervalued, times it's fairly valued, and that has a big influence on the performance of your holdings. And second thing I do is I look at the individuals and companies and I understand what the S&P is all about. The S&P is an index of 500 companies that are growing maybe 5% a year that on average yield about 1.8%, sell around three times book value, debt's about 40% to the capitalization, and for that index you're paying around 17 times earnings. And so what I try to do with my team, and I do have a lot of very good people helping me, is to identify companies that are either growing more rapidly than the averages, uh, are yielding more, have more underlying asset value, and I'm paying a lower price. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.